Kelly. This is an amazing story of survival. A Texas trooper beaten and left for dead along Interstate 35. It happened more than three years ago, but for the first time, this courageous young woman shares her story with other officers learning to defend themselves from an attacker. KV's Amanda Lawson joins us now with more. Amanda? Well, Ron, each year a handful of law enforcement officers from all over the country come to Austin to learn self-defense techniques. One of those students is taking the class for the very first time since a brutal attack left her fighting for her life. I never, ever thought I could survive something like that, ever. Charlie Drake's ordeal began during a late-night traffic stop on Interstate 35. Her dashboard camera continues to roll as two men jump her and began a brutal attack that would leave her near death on the side of the road. They were sitting on top of me. They were beating my head in. They wanted my gun. I mean, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to go. Right here. For the first time, Charlie shares her story with colleagues as they learn what to do in the same situation. Majority of situation happens actually at close range, between four to five feet. We're working from the standpoint of our premise that the officer is already being assaulted. So what we're doing is giving them counters to the assault. Many of the officers, like Randy Meter of Pflugerville, will teach these techniques to other officers on their force. The emphasis is in stopping the attack without having to use a gun. We don't want to have to use it, but if we, you know, if they put us in that position, then we have to do it. A lot of this is uh, hands-on stuff with pain compliance, takedown techniques to where we can control the subject without causing serious injury. Shirley says by sharing her terrifying ordeal, other officers will now understand the importance of this class. You need to practice it. You need to practice these survival skills, because if you don't, you'll lose them. I mean, it's just like any other thing. And Charlie says one of the things that certainly got through her, got her through that night was her mental strength. And again, that is something that she learned there in the academy. Not just physical stuff, but mental as well. That is an amazing story. Mm -hmm. What is Charlie Drake doing now? Well, she is still a trooper. She was just a rookie at the time when all this happened. She said she certainly wasn't going to let that get in the way of what she always wanted to do. And she's been doing it about five years now. Still going strong. Good for her. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Amanda.